peace and infinite blessings and rainbows to you. My name is Sunshine Cummings. I'm a mindset coach, healer, and doula, and you are watching Heal with Sunshine. Peace. Hey, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk to you about, well, actually, I want to give you some of the best advice that you will probably ever receive regarding grief and how to transform it. Because one thing I've learned is that grief never really goes away. It just comes and goes in waves. Like some days we're good and some days we feel it and it's expressed either physically in our bodies or as an emotion or mentally. We may get some mental sensations. And quick plug, if you have not watched my videos on the different ways that grief can show up for you, either physically, mentally, or emotionally, I made three videos. Go check those out. So you can know for sure if whether what you're experiencing are typical, not necessarily typical, but whether they can be expressed as a part of grief as well. So the advice I want to share with you regarding grief, and this works with grief or works with any emotion that people tend to see as negative or tend to not want to feel or face. And that advice is to just face it, flow with it, let it be there. And what eventually is going to happen is that it's just going to wash right over you. It's going to wash right through you and it's going to eventually die down, right? Again, grief does not ever go away, but our experience of grief does not have to always be one of negativity or one of suffering, right? So while it's there, we just learn how to flow with it. We learn how to be with it. We learn how to let it just be there and then we watch it. We watch it go away or watch it wash over us or wash through us, right? Because as cliche as it sounds, it's so cliche now, but it's really the truth that what we resist persists. Whenever you try to fight something away or fight through something, you just make it stronger. And that goes for labor too. Ooh, and soon I'll be making a lot more videos regarding labor and how to prepare for your birth and um, things that you can do during labor to kind of ease the sensations of labor, right? But that is something that I definitely learned. People look at me like I'm crazy when I say I love birth. I don't like being pregnant, but I love the experience of labor and giving birth. I love it because I learned very early on during my days of studying midwifery when I was a midwife apprentice um, with home births. I learned that when you just relax into it, when you don't fear the sensations, you don't feel, fear the contractions and you just allow it to be there and you flow with it kind of like a wave. You know that it's going to have its peak and it's going to come down and it's going to flow and you just kind of ride the wave and you flow with it. And I learned that early on in my studies so that when I was in labor, every time I've been in labor, I've been prepared for that, except the first one. I'll probably tell that story one day, um, but you just flow with it and you know that it's going to reach its peak and then it's going to come right back down. So that's the same with our emotions. It's very, very, very challenging. It's very difficult, especially when those emotions are showing up physically and we're like, why is my heart racing? Why can I not remember anything? Why do I have brain fog? Why is my heart skipping beats? <laughs> you know, why is my head hurting so badly? Why do I feel dizzy? All of these different things can show up as a part of some of these emotions. But when we're used to feeling as though grief is only an emotion and it does not have physical sensations that come with it, it can seem a little bit more scary and a lot more challenging to just let it flow because your mind wants you to believe that there's danger. And really, that is just a distraction, um, a mental distraction that your mind gives you so that you don't have to face the grief and deal with the pain of the grief, right? So the body is just amazing how it works. Mind, body, spirit connection is just divine, right? So that is the advice I have for you. Basically, I'm going to be sharing a lot more videos related to these topics, related to birth prep, related to um, different remedies and things that you can do for a lot of some of the more uncomfortable sensations and, and symptoms of pregnancy. 
So just stay tuned. It's a new channel. I appreciate your support. If you're here watching for the first time while the channel is actually new, I thank you so much. Please like, share, comment. If you have any questions, put them in the boxes below. And please, please, please make sure you subscribe if you have not done so already. And remember, grief does not have to equate to suffering. Just flow with it. Face it. Allow it to be there. Don't resist it. And it won't persist. Okay? Remember, as always, you got this. You are not alone. I'm here for you. If you need any support, you would like to reach out for a consultation or for some coaching around overcoming or healing your grief or dealing with the sensations of anxiety or fear in this current pregnancy because of your previous loss. Maybe you're wanting to uh, figure out how to enjoy this pregnancy and not be so consumed with the loss, get over feelings of guilt. Again, grief, anxiety, fear about your upcoming labor and birth and just kind of get through it, not just from a physical perspective and things that you, the physical challenges that you may deal with in this pregnancy, but also a lot of the emotional things that are going to pop up or that have been popping up for you as a result of having experienced a loss before and wanting to navigate those challenges that come along with it as well because they're very different for a woman who's pregnant for the first time or for a woman who gets pregnant easily and just has her births like nothing it's very 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 different and challenging um in a different kind of way for women who have experienced loss so that is the type of doula that I am and coach, and I'm here for you. If you would like some support in those areas, please feel free, feel, but I, feel free to reach out to me um, either on my Instagram, Heal with Sunshine. You can leave a comment below um, or click the link in the description box to reach out to me that way to see the different ways that you can work with me. All right, so I uh, thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Peace, infinite blessings, and rainbows to you. See you in the next video.